What are you up to now? Strange dreams of late. Analyze them. Leviosa. Incendio. Pharaoh. Repairer. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Repairer.
Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Repairer. Accio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmead. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona was not intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? This way, think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. Allow me to help you, Annie. Levioso, prepare. Look what you've done. Akio. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I'm not going anywhere with you.
Tell Rookwood to find me himself. No, don't! Incendio! Accio! What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trial. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow sweet. Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The mallow sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Revelio.
Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Incendio. Hardly believe it. Rebellion. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the res- What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your father? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. We are known for our contributions to science and art, but with all I plan to discover about the world around us... The... What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like... Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever... I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth chart. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my... A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think.
This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearing. Oh, how incredible! Did you? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It would. Thank you so much for doing this. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. This looks intriguing. Rebellion. I certainly am. Brilliant. Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Incendium. Incendium. Accurate. Lumos. Stupid. 
incendio. Come on, lose the incendio. Accio. Lumos. Protego. again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Hello, Lucan. Excellent idea. That'd be brilliant. What well, if you need to stop practicing before you finish? Incendio. That's it. Accio. Incendio. Excellent form. Accio. Incendio. Keep trying. Accio. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Let me go. Incendio. Nicely done. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duels.
Incendio! Rebellion. I've always said that travel Rebellion. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory. Former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad to hear you are up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? I shall go and see her right away. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Rebellion.
found the rift in the dark. Love you. Yeah. I'd say you're right. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. Oh, oh. 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 Shoot death, they want to fire! 
You will! It is a Nora Treadwell's precious little guardian. Incendio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. These rocks have seen better days.
Incendio. Accio. This place has seen better days. <laughs> this must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jagdor's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jagdor's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. If you think... This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. I've escorted ministers, professors and many others to that blasted place. No Very well. Let's go. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now. And tread lightly in that... We'll be there in but a moment. Sure to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. This isn't a place for loitering. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. 
Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such Careful monsters. Around, She's been here a lot longer than the rest of us. If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, young cur. They teach you some little of what you should know of. That witch always has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death in all its mercy oh, approaches. No one at school is going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Field! Field! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault in some ruins? Near Upper Hogsfield? I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Ellen. Ellen. No, you're here. Come in closer. Be a dear. What is it, Anne? Now, you have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. I wonder who lives here. <laughs> 